Hey everybody, welcome back to the Flannel Channel. I'm Philip. I'm glad you're here. I love old trucks, especially ones that carry the years of stories in patina like this one does. This is a truck that belongs to my friend Mike. This is private property. We have his permission to be here filming and uh, he said that we could check this old timer out and uh, so let's give it a look over. It's a short hood. It's actually a setback axle, which is a little bit unusual. I think that's super cool. And uh, so let's crawl around inside and outside and just take a closer look at it with us. Here we go. Let's start by looking inside because these old Kenworths have such a cool interior. And I love that it has like the dash pad. It's got the, uh, the headliner in it. It's a button tuck. It's got a Fridge King. AC unit up on the roof. I think that's awesome. Uh, the earliest sticker that I saw inside was 1970. I'm gonna crawl up inside here and see if there's any more clues to it. Ugh, it doesn't want to open. I don't want to force it. That's all right. Definitely had some uh, had some critters that were living inside <laughs> at one time. <laughs> Pretty cool. Got a center console. I want you to peek up inside there and take a look at that. It's made of plywood. I think that's awesome. I love the simplicity of the dash in these. Somebody added a stereo up underneath the dash. You know, to get some tunes. We'll open the driver's side too, where you can see where the CB radio is attached under the dash. Solid seat, solid rubber mount cab. Um, you can tell it used to have a bunk on it at one time that was taken off and uh, this tag axle was obviously added at one time. I believe this truck probably did some like flat bedding, maybe heavy haul. I'm really not sure. Check out that old school torsion bar uh, suspension in the back. I can only imagine what this thing rode like. Oof. <laughs> but I don't know a lot of the history of this truck, but that's okay. That, to me is part of the fun of just walking around and getting to know a truck a little bit. It's obviously stayed pretty local right here in Minnesota in the southern part of the state where we live. And uh, Cummins Power, yeah. There's something really special about a crooked letter like that. I just love when they have the reflector and the light right here, just like the Smokey and the Bandit truck does. Our friend Twin Sticks up in Canada, he was recreating that same look on his Kenworth when he was getting it period correct and movie correct. I, you know, maybe, but it is pretty windy out here today too, but let's open that up. You can take a look on that side. I know a lot of you guys probably don't need a lot of my commentary on it. This truck is manufactured in 1969. That's our tag right there. It's obviously been painted at different times and things like that. It's all part of the story of the truck. I love it. Yeah, when it was painted, you can see <clears throat> The, uh, the AC lines, when it was painted, they took the AC lines and they painted the stripes around the conduit that the, the lines go through. I think that's pretty cool. Makes me wonder if it did have a, a bunk on it, if it would have been a crawl through. I'm not really sure. suspension is really something <laughs> that's uh it's only something I can imagine bouncing down the road on uh, had to ride like terrible and that uh, kingpins are all dry you know it it would steer just a little bit for you as you go around corners but not much it would give you resistance they welded it solid so it wouldn't steer yeah pretty neat old tanks i wonder 
Is that IH, International Steps? That'd be my guess. I love the lights on the roof and the big trumpets. Those are some giant horns when you really look at them. Pretty sweet. The shame that swan is gone. Last was on the road in 07. But it's a neat aluminum bumper. I love those badges. And there's this something about sun faded paint that you can't recreate it. I mean, some guys are really into Fotina, you know, trying to make it look aged, but man, the sun can do things that we can only dream of trying to get that same look out of. I love it. It's a really cool truck. And you know, somebody could take the cab and set it on a modern chassis and put a long hood on it and things like that, not have the setback axle. But I kind of like it because it's different and it's original. That's pretty neat too. There's something to be said for that. Well, that's it for this episode. Hey, I hope you enjoy poking around an old truck as much as I do. I appreciate Mike giving me the opportunity, and uh, thanks for coming along. Thanks for supporting the channel, everybody. I truly appreciate you. If this is the kind of content you like to see, you know what to do. Peace and grease.